This video is sponsored by Storyblocks, but more on that later in the video. Hey guys, Irene here, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have another behind the scenes video, yay! I know you guys love them and I of course love making them for you guys. Today I'm using different gear. I'm shooting with the Fuji X-T3 and a Fuji 90mm f2 lens. If you are interested in knowing my opinion on Fuji system and how I liked working with it, head on over to my last video and check that out. But today I'm I'm just gonna show you guys the behind the scenes and how I managed to get these beauty shots. I started the first set of images in the shed, just like I did in my previous behind the scenes video. Uh, I also decided to pin Alex's hair a little bit to the sides as it was very long and heavy and I wanted to make it a little bit more airy and fluffy. I absolutely love the light that the shed provides. She is getting some nice soft light in front of her and some soft shade on the sides and it creates that very classic setup. I also used a reflector to bring even more of that soft light and create some nice catch light in her eyes. This is another reason why I absolutely love bringing a step ladder to a photo shoot. You can use it as a reflector holder. Here I also brought a stand because I wanted to put a reflector a little bit higher to get a different lighting effect and again the letter is helping me to angle the reflector in the way that I want it to be. Later on during the shoot, the sun came out, so I decided to switch things up and put the backdrop just in my backyard because I really wanted to see if I can shoot this backlit. It actually turned out really, really beautiful and it gave the images this magical glow. So first of all, we're getting these nice highlights in the model's hair, which helps to separate her from the backdrop. And that light that is hitting her from the back is also reflected in the reflector back onto the model's face again giving us some really really nice glow to her skin plus the sun is also backlighting the backdrop and i really enjoyed how that looked in the pictures and now a few words from today's sponsor storyblocks Storyblocks is a library of studio quality 4K stock video, After Effects, templates, illustrations, animations, motion backgrounds, music, sound effects, green screen, they have it all. When you sign up for an unlimited plan, that's exactly what you get. Unlimited downloads of copyright free content and all content is royalty free for commercial and personal use. I used some beautiful background footage in today's video. It was super easy to find exactly what I was looking for and I think it made the video a lot more interesting and professional looking. Storyblocks really has a huge variety of content and I can't wait to experiment with it more and take my videos to another level. So thank you so much Storyblocks for sponsoring today's video. It really helps to keep this channel running and if you'd like to check out Storyblocks, click the link in the description down below. Okay, now back to the video. Let's talk a little bit about colors. Whenever I style a shoot, I always make sure that it's gonna tell a certain color story and that all of the colors will work really beautifully together. So the main color I chose was this pastel pink, which is the dress that the model is wearing. Usually this color looks very nice for blondes and I made sure that the backdrop that I'm using is gonna match this color scheme very nicely. So we have some of the muted oranges and purples which are on the warm side of the color wheel and again complement this pale pink color really beautifully. I 
wanted to give you guys a tip on posing today. I always tell my model to exaggerate the poses. So whenever I see something that I like, I usually tell them to go even further with it, make it more angular, uh, make it even more creative. And in this particular pose, I also told the model to twist her body even more to create a really nice shape. So as you can see, her thighs are twisted to one side while her upper body is twisted towards me and it creates a very interesting pose creates some really cool angles and overall looks very feminine as well because we're accentuating the waist and her curves When it comes to editing, I kept it pretty simple, skin retouch, dodge and burn, and some color correction. Next, I wanted to try something different and shoot through glass with droplets of water. I took this glass out of a picture frame and I think it worked perfect. The only mistake I did is that I sprayed some oil first and then sprayed the water. I thought that the oil will kind of keep the water in those nice droplet shapes but to be honest it just made things messy so next time i would stick to only spraying water for sure i also wanted to experiment with some small leds that i have from aperture but i think those will work a lot better in a studio where i don't have any ambient light coming through and since we were outside uh in the end i decided to just use natural light Finally, in the end, I took a few more close-up portraits in the shed. The next day I shot with Trinity and I decided to continue the theme uh, so I shot in my backyard with the backdrop. The difference was that we had a very gloomy and dark day and although it did turn out different I still really loved the results. I started with a pink backdrop and a nude nightgown, but I quickly realized that it was not working in this weather. I needed something more vibrant and contrasting. So I went with a blue backdrop and this beautiful emerald blue nightgown. I also brought in a green flower and all together, I think this color combination worked really well. It worked nicely with the model's eye color, with her hair, and overall I decided to stay on a cooler side of the color wheel. Here I'm telling to model to not be afraid to still give me some micro movements while she's in the pose. So although she's keeping her hands down, I want her to still turn her head back and forth and give me some different expressions. Trinity is a new model, so I was giving her a lot of coaching on posing today. I really wanted to push her out of her comfort zone and make her try out some more interesting poses. So I asked her to hold the flower really close to her face and give me some more angles. And this is what we came out with. Whenever I'm doing photo shoots, I never stand in one place. I'm always trying out different angles and different sides. And I highly recommend you guys do the same because you never know you might have missed the angle that you actually really liked.
For the last few shots, I also added some very small yellow flowers in her hair. I thought that this pop of yellow might look really nice and it totally did. I really liked how that looked with the whole color scheme. Alright, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out today's sponsor story blocks. The link for them will be in the description down below. Like this video, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!